Hello, hello, welcome in. I'm Mr. J. This is the arcade. We're playing Tears of the Kingdom. Sky, how's it going? Good to see you, Sky. So, and do a little bit of laid back kind of stuff today. Got some shrines that we need to clean up, maybe get our health up a little higher, maybe go find a couple of light roots. You know, all, all the fun stuff. So, we're already here. And I don't know why I'm traveling, but uh, we're going to travel, apparently. My lighting is making me look really red. So, we'll flip that over. See if that's a little better. There we go. Now, now I look like myself. Oh, yeah, I've only got, you know, that many hearts versus, you know, the full bar. I've got plenty of food and stuff, so that shouldn't be a huge problem. But I'm going to go fight what I think is the boss of the game here in the next day or so. And I'd kind of like to be able to be fully equipped for that. Forward force, huh? All right. So we got to get a big ball in the hole. Just a little more oomph. Okay, there is ball. this. So I will not be able to do that as easily as I thought I would. Maybe I will. Oh, <laughs> uh, if I can cheese this, I'm totally going to cheese this. Because I think that's a little more fun than uh, doing it the right way. Uh, you are absolutely not wrong. Okay, hang on. I can make this work. The, this will totally work. So the ball is up. I gotta leave it there for a second. Then if I reverse time... Violation. Mm. 
So there, I'm sure there was an entirely elaborate thing for me to go through to solve that with the little car and everything. But um, I remembered that I have abilities that I can use, and we did it that way instead. If someone gets smushed, uh, they probably should have not been in my way. Because I'm the only one in here. I'm the only one allowed in here. I'm the hero of this guy who also jumps out of it. Because I think there's already a hero of this guy. <laughs> Link to a crime. <laughs> if that's not a game in the series at some point, it should be. Man, I haven't watched that all the way through in a while. But I can now go get another heart, which is kind of awesome. For the puns alone. <laughs> well, there's one game in particular, the Link's Awakening, that was from the Game Boy that they redid half a dozen times, but they most recently redid on the Switch. You can actually steal from a shop there. And they will call you Thief for the rest of the game. And if you ever go back in that shop, he murders you on the spot. Which is amusing in its own right. Shopkeeper, just little old man, bald head shopkeeper, hits you with a freaking laser from his hands and just disintegrates you. Steal from my shop, will you? <laughs> See, that happens in this game, too. That's actually what Fable was referencing. Was... I think it's A Link to the Past is the first game that that happens in. I may be mistaken there. But if you continually attack chickens, you get attacked by a chicken army. Oh, goody. They took all my stuff. Proving Grounds Traps. Alright, we have gear now. Uh, that was not very nice. Stop shooting me. <laughs> Thick stick with a boulder. That's a little better. Oh yeah, he's totally naked. There's, I would say probably about half of the ones that I've done, they strip you of all your gear and you've got to run around in your underwear. There we go. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did it. <laughs> Give me the bits. <laughs> Your jokes are always welcome, Sky. It makes everything more entertaining. I guess I just need to viciously murder all of these things. Oh, he's got a long stick. That's not good. It's not in this context. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, I won't deny. <laughs> okay, so we got half of these knuckleheads. Oh, there's two of you over there. Never mind. And you're fast. Oh, that hurts a lot. And I'm in the corner. Get up, you little elf boy. All right, we can get the archer. So they don't take a whole lot to hit. But this guy... I'm gonna shoot him in the face. We're scared. Oh, Jesus. I'll take that arrow. Stop it. I can't get hit anymore. I don't have any of my health items. Come on. Run away. Run away. Oh, he's got a shield, too. Son of a... Ah! Guy with a pointy stick! <laughs> this is not going well. Stop doing weird shit, Link. Alright, back up on the thing. Now they're up there where I can hit them. Yeah, get down here and right in the face. <laughs> this is really not going well. That's that one down. Now I just got to deal with this guy. Crap. Dang, he's fast. Run away! Grab the stuff. Yeah, that's right. Forget where I am. I get my stuff back. Yeah, they were, uh, they were definitely not cooperating. Yeah, now I got all my gear. 
got my health back too. That's a nice thing. Nice. Needed a good bow. Maybe. Do three more of these. We'll get two hearts. That will not be a bad start. But I also want to go to the underground here and maybe explore this neck of the woods a little bit. And then I still have to open up the rest of this side of the map too. Down here. But... That will have to come after we do a couple more shrines. Work, maybe. Oh, there, there's a ton of stuff that I haven't done yet. I haven't really interacted with any of the people of the world either. It's just kind of been me running around doing story stuff and then collecting shrines to get my health and my stamina up. And to get bigger batteries for devices. Fire and ice, you say? exactly do we need to do here? Yeah, this is going to be a lot of puzzle solving stuff. So I need to melt this ice a little bit to get it to fit in there. That might actually be enough. Will you squeeze in now? do I need this one for? Why is it not letting me grab it? Oh. But now what? Do I just... Slide it on the spikes? Um, not me, however. I need to go this way. climb the block of ice but it won't let me climb a perfectly good wall that makes very little sense to me Are you telling me 
that I could have just hit this thing with a bomb. Yeah. Okay. I could not. There must be something that I have to climb. <laughs> yeah, that is most definitely the game logic involved. Like, I could just walk around this thing, but no, it's part of the progression. This ice block is slipping. I don't even know if there's anything up there, but I kind of want to find out. There is not. Do I need the big metal plate, maybe? take one more of these just in case. That's what I was thinking is like this slab was used for the other fire. So maybe I need to take it with me before this fire for some reason. Can't reach it. Oh, and I can't reach it over there anymore either. Dang it. I'm going to have to reset the dungeon. You can, but then you plummet. I'm not that talented. <laughs> now, I think I need to take the slab and put it on top of the ice block that's sliding down. So I use the slab to block the fire to get the ice block, pull the ice block out, put the slab on top of it with the sticky bit, and then slide it down there. Because then I can put the ice block on top of the platform where the fire is and the fire won't hurt it because it's, uh, it's protected by the slab.
There we go. Oh, you jerk. How dare you? Okay, so that is how you solve it. I just screwed up the placement of the ice block. So I gotta go get another ice block. <laughs> I might be able to use this one. Oh, I won't be able to get that because the slab's down here. Uh, this one should be big enough. I just need to line up this slab more accurately this time. Why is that so off? What is wrong with me? Get in the middle. There's a guide on the ground for where the thing's going to place. Why am I not looking at it? There. Ugh. Yeah, be quick before the ice melts. Get in there, you silly elf. I have difficulty with the depth perception sometimes, too. And then other times I can hit a Korok from like a thousand meters away with a bow and arrow shot that I just pluck up into the sky and go, yeah, we'll see what happens. So two more, even though I have several more, like way down here. Let me see, are there any more up in this neck of the woods? Does not look like it. So I'll get these ones. was probably not very pleasant. Sorry, I'm sure someone will kiss it and make it better. Uh, I just, oh, that, that has to suck. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Combat training with shields. I got a shield. This is going to teach me how to do basic combat maneuvers that I should have been using through the entire game. Block projectiles if you pair with your shield at the right time. Turn the enemy's attack against them. Okay. The attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Cool. So I'm going to learn new skills that I really should have had. Ready shield and parry. These are slow. Oh, 
Good. Now there's two of them. That didn't even make it to me. It hit the ground first. Okay, I think I actually need to switch shields for this one. Or they're all metallic shields, never mind. <laughs> well, at least it worked. A little faster would have been nice, because I swung way too early at it. And I'm still in the previous game where the Guardians were firing lasers at you. And you had a split second to get those. Oh. They gave me a wooden and a metal shield over here to deal with that. <laughs> it is witchy. <laughs> Mighty Zonite shield. That's only a 50. We're going to leave that here. Maybe I'll come back for it later if I run out of shields. Cool. One more. We'll go get two hearts. We'll have five in the second row. And then we'll go underground. See what kind of trouble we can get into there. <laughs> I haven't even gone to the island that's like way over in that direction. It was kind of a fun little mini game kind of set up in the last game. I'm very interested to see what they did with it this time. And he's naked again. Combat training, right? Grooving grounds. Oh, I remember this one. I screwed this one up. You know what? I'm not even going to do this one. I remember how difficult this one was. We're, we're going to go do a different one. Gave it my best shot last time. It wasn't good enough. I saw something on the map just now that I want to mark. So maybe we'll do this one instead. Yeah, I, I need to do that flow around shrine. I need to do that when I'm like fully focused on the game. I won't be able to do that one on stream, I don't think.
that must be a, an amazing battle that they're having to fight over the butt scritches. Just set up a little kitty coliseum. Building bridges. This one is a too long. I was going to say, that wasn't even connected. Come on. So I need this fourth one here. That ought to work. <laughs> um, that's fair, really. Sometimes it does require a bit of spatial awareness that I too do not have the patience for. <laughs> right through there. <laughs> this one was much nicer. <laughs> So that was a little too far. Let's get that one. Ooh, we like that. That'll let me get another battery, I think. eight of those, which means we can go get some hearts, and then we'll go to the depths. So we need to go to my favorite statue because it's quick and easy to get to. So we just jump off of here. Go right to the pond. Uh, heart container, please. OK. 
goofy look on his face with that mask. Ah, I didn't mean to talk to you again. <laughs> this is the uh, the squirrel suit, essentially. This lets you go from the sky, and it gives you more control while you're gliding around. We want to go off the other side here. But yeah, you see, we're like way up in the sky now. And if I just jump off, I spread my little wings and it lets me control this very easily. Gives you much more maneuverability. Actually, haven't been up here in a while. Now that I think of it. And there's a shrine over here. Really? I was missing a shrine over here. Oh. Down below, you say? Is interesting. I will look for that later. We're not here for that nonsense. We're here to try and figure out I get some more light roots over here. That's a big part of the game, is just jumping from the sky to the ground like that. Like, you start the game up on that sky island. Okay, so if I'm facing this way, I think is where I want to go. We just want to go straight up that way. It's going to require some climbing, it seems. Oop. I should put on my... Uh, be able to see in the dark pants. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, that's one reason to play the game. So, one of the uh, 
one of the girls at work wants to play the game and she just has been saving up for it. So I gave her some of my tip money today so she could get the game. I was like, look, it is that good. Go get it. <laughs> it's like, if you like the one before this, you're going to love the one that is like what I consider to be the game they intended to make. and rockets and fans. Oh my. I want to go that way. We want to go that way more. It might work. <laughs> this is the other really like big element of this game is getting to build stuff. And some of the things people have come up with is just beyond ridiculous. Alright. Let's see if this will work. connected. There we go. No. It's fun, right? I'm totally off course, but it's okay. We seem to be drifting in the right direction. <laughs> See my character, please. There we go. That is the thing that we're looking for down here is a light route. open up the map a little bit. Let me see what the heck's going on down here. At roughly the right direction is still mostly the right direction. It got me where I needed to go. <laughs>
Oh, and that's actually a pretty decent chunk of the map. That is very helpful. That is not as big a chunk of the map as I thought it was. Forget I said anything. <laughs> so I need to go that way? Yeah, we need to go that way. Climb up on things. Let me see what we can find. Icy bats over there. We don't want to deal with icy bats. Wandering in the dark. Let's go wander in the dark. Some pose over there. The pose always lead us in the right direction. Or they lead us to certain doom. I mean, you know, either way, they've got a relatively good track record. No, right? They all help. They have like special abilities and things. And then I've got a big mech that follows me around too that has the spirit of someone else in it. Yeah, we've got my big rock guy whose name I can never remember. I just call him Baby Huey. We've got Riju who does lightning stuff. We got Sidon here who does water stuff, and then Tulin here who helps me go faster in the air. I see that. I mean, I can't place any more pens. Dang it. I used them all on the surface, I think. There's one, there's one, there's one. And it's that one right there. Okay, so yeah, I don't have any pins left. Dang it. Just gotta walk over there. Very treacherous. Hello, little pose. Oh, dang, that went really far down there. <laughs> There's somewhere I can land. Okay, robot, come here. We gotta go do a thing. Oh, 
walking around in the little robot suit here actually prevents me from taking damage from walking in all the red stuff here because it doesn't just hurt me it also prevents me from healing so it kind of blocks off your health bar So that, that is detrimental to your adventure if you can't replenish your health. So, since there seems to be a lot of it that back here... I've got little flowers that let me light up the area temporarily so I can sort of see where the heck everything is until we get to the light route. But yeah, this stuff, if I walk in it for too long, it'll steal health from me until I get back into some sunlight. And then I get those hearts back. That's all we want to do. We want to get over to the light route. I don't care about any of this stuff over here. There, see, it took one from me. I won't be able to use that one until I get into a light source, which, thankfully, the light roots restore any of the hearts that you've lost while you've been down here. Oh man, I get lost down here so much. Like, when I didn't have any of the map opened up, I had no idea where I was going. There, see? The light gave me the container back. It didn't restore it, but if I was to use health-type items... That is one that I've already gotten, so... Oh, that's the one way over there. Which means we need to go this way. To the hot, fiery magma. Which means it's probably going to get really hot over here. Right on cue. And I'm gonna need to switch armor. There we go. Now I'm in my hot pants. The lava doesn't bother me anymore. Or at least the heat doesn't anyway. I mean, if I fell in there, it would still cook me. It's a lot of pose. Yeah, we want it raw. We don't want it cooked. <laughs> now the question is, am I going to be able to see the next light route from here, or am I just going to have to go wander in the dark again? There may be one here. Otherwise, it's going to be way over on the other side. Or some other shrine on the surface that I have not found yet. Really? 
Really? You missed? Hey, look, I'm just here for the pose. Y'all don't need to get all up in arms about this. There's one. As long as I can find some of these. <laughs> yeah, they're really excited to eat my face. right in here light up the area a little more which means there is probably a shrine right there that I've missed ah Tell Melty I appreciate the effort. Yeah, and it's just laid back and chill here. There's no... There's no requirements. There's no, like, you gotta be here or, you know, we won't like you anymore. It's just I'm hanging out and playing games. And anybody that wants to hang out and watch, welcome to be here. he wants to see what is so fascinating about this weirdo that plays games. Is this, is it something good? Hey, we got the Seabreeze Boomerang gun. Cool. I'll trade it for my other one because it's badly damaged. See, you say that now, and then you say it again later. I may start to believe you. <laughs> That's just a hole. I need to climb up here and maybe find another light route on the other side of this mountain. <laughs> oh no, I'm being bullied with kindness. Whatever will I do? <laughs> It's very dark over here. I don't like it. Oh, wow. 
What is all this over here? right in front of me. Okay. Uh, maybe up? Deal with you, Mr. Slime. Oh no, not the positive affirmations. Anything but that. <laughs> help, help, I'm being encouraged. Flowers. We like the bomb flowers. And I saw you. Hey, 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 hey. No, we're not having any of that right now. Big wormy bastard. All right, let's use this opportunity to maybe get across this whole thing. Yeah, accidental boss fight. As soon as I get over this thing, I'm going to mark that on the map. The nice thing is, is he causes an updraft, so I can use that to travel further. And possibly... Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost took a big bite of dirt right there. That would have not been good. All right, I think we're getting far enough away now. The music's dying down. Aw, oh, dang it. Fine, back into the boss fight. I see you, Light Root. Dang it. Yeah, it's a weird turtle, praying mantis, centipede, pinchy faced bug thing. Nice, it gave me a little boost there. So I can get right up to this one. <laughs> it's a big nope with wings. Yeah, that, that about covers it. It's a lot better than the, uh, the mud shark. That's for sure. All right. So, yeah, there. That opened up the giant arena that I didn't see.
I wonder how close I got to, uh, you know what? That was not bad. Put it a little more centered. What are you doing? I'm at the light route. Relax. Not even here to deal with you. So if I fly straight down, I'll probably find one that'll light up right here. There'll be another one that lights up right here. And then probably two, maybe three more here. Well, there's another one right here. <laughs> and I mean, you see how big the whole map is. So fighting the worm dude twice right here is a little silly. That's the last place I died, too. So if I go straight across here, we'll get to this one because there's a shrine right there that I need to get. And they all, like, they correspond to each other on the surface map and then on the underground map. So if I build myself a flying machine. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. see what happens. Can I scoot all the way over there? heavy because of the updraft. Now I'm upside down. No. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, but I see a light route over there. Nice. Just straight ahead. <laughs> I didn't realize that the updrafts were going to absolutely just wreck the glider. was. Yeah, see, there's the light route right over there. And here is a thing that I can build a contraption. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. This weapon does damage to me down here. So... Smash all the frogs. Well, we got a glider. A glider with rockets again. Actually, I just pull a couple of these down. Not that. I can auto build that sucker. Oh, 
what is the direction that we need to head in? I'm willing to bet the Poes are going to tell me. Right that way. Nope. Those were wrong. We gotta go this way. Really? Just dead stop? Oh, and there's a froke. I don't want to have to deal with a froke. Not ready for boss battles at this particular juncture. Yeah. Are any more up here? No, we're just going right to the edge of the map now. where we want to go. Yeah. This is going to be a camp. Yeah. I see the light route behind it. to be another one way over there. There's also one right here. For sure. And the one glowy girl. So that'll probably leave three spheres, maybe, of, uh, so yeah, we got this one. <laughs> clingy cats, not the clingy cats. But yeah, I just need to go straight this way. They just like spending time with you. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, if you don't feed them for long enough, they'll probably attempt that. All right, robot, come here. Got goop to climb over here. I really need to put some weapons on this thing again, too. My little sage of spirit is completely unarmed, except for this balloon on their back. And that only lets them float down gently in case we jump off of something. I think that's just a cat thing. They all do that. Wait, food? Oh my god, I haven't eaten in like years. Give me the food. see you. It is one of these. are we going to get for this one? Is it just that circle? Oh no, we got a little bit more. Nice. Then we got to get into this area here, but map is almost done. So that's cool. But now that I got that top edge of the map done, I think we're going to call it quits for tonight. So until next time, keep playing. We all game over sometime and I will see you around the arcade.